Hi, this is a 2019 Les Paul Jr. Got it all cleaned up, polished the frets, cleaned the fretboard, and now it's ready for setup. So first things first, we will sight down the neck. Looks to have a bit of relief, so I will just put on a capo and measure that. So somebody bought this guitar from me and I'm doing this video just to show what I do during the setup so they can see it later. And I've got the capo on at the first fret, measuring at the eighth fret, the feeler gauge, and it's got more than 0 0.010 relief. So I'm gonna tighten the truss rod a tiny bit, flatten out this neck a little. Just gonna loosen the truss rod a tiny and now I'll tighten it. Gotta take it out of camera for a second to get a hold of this thing. Maybe give it. That was about almost one full turn. Okay, capo back on, fretting at the 17th, checking at the 8th. And we've got 0 0.007. Looks like the relief now. Let's check 0 0.008. I don't know. Well, yeah, 0 0.007. So that's where we'll start out. Action's pretty reasonable. About 0 0.060, which is right about where I like to end up anyway. I like to check on the low frets first and just see if there's any buzzing going on down here. Sounding pretty clean. So this thing's playing great already. Um, all over the neck it sounds good checking the action it's just about where I want it on the high strings at uh, 0 060 and then it gets a little higher as you go across the neck so I'm just gonna tweak this side down a little bit just a little bit is all it's gonna need Yeah, that's just about perfect all the way across the neck. They sound pretty good. So I'm just going to check out the intonation, a little sharp, high E, probably going to be a little sharp all the way across. Okay, so so we got a wraparound bridge, but we can only control side to side like a seesaw. We're going to have to bring the whole thing back. Probably a good little amount. Easiest thing to do. Loosen up all the strings. Because if you try and do this with the strings tight, it's going to be impossible to turn those little Allen screw adjustments on the bridge. And you just end up stripping them out. 
actually set up a few of these 2019 Les Paul Juniors recently and they all seem to set up really well um, so I wouldn't be surprised if this is the same even with the wraparound I was able to get the intonation almost spot on and the others have done see so just bringing back this one side a little bit tighten up the strings enough that I have to loosen this other side otherwise I can't even turn this one sometimes I just cheated a little bit and just tune up maybe the high E and see where that's at because if it's still way off then probably others are too and then I'll do the other side that high E was right on by the way so the low E Okay, so that's still way sharp. So it's got, that side of the bridge has got ways more to go. That's too bad. Took me a couple more rounds of loosening the strings and moving it back a little bit, but uh, the intonation really came together on this one. And I like to play some open strings combined with playing up high, because I know some of these intervals and I can tell usually if something's a little out of intonation. It also helps to play some triads. Going up the neck where I've got an open string and then the triad underneath it. Yeah, so this thing sounded good. Just to sum up what we did on this one, uh, it's strung with 10 gauge strings. Check the electronics, check the neck relief, change the strings, polish the frets, set string height, set intonation. There's no pickup height adjustment with that P90. Polished the guitar, down tuned it to ship. String height is set at 0 .060 at the 12th. The neck relief at the 8th is 0 .007. If you got anything out of this video, please consider giving it a like or commenting down below. Thank you.